This is Precalculus, Topic 8. We're doing the practice assessment. And this is the seventh problem, the second one on the back. We're supposed to find all the exact zeros of this, and we're told that x minus 7 is a factor of it. Uh, that means that 7 is a zero of it, because that makes that a zero. So let's, let's divide that out. Uh, 2, I don't need the x cubed. Uh, minus 26 plus 92 minus 56. Let's draw that a little neater. So bring it down, multiply, and then I can uh, I can add and then multiply. So 7 times negative 12 is negative 84. Add that to 92, I get 8. 8 times 7 is 56. Great. So I factored out an x minus 7. And I was left with a 2x squared minus 12x plus 8. So I could try and factor this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to. So I could uh, just shove it in the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Great. Negative negative 12 is positive 12. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 12 squared is positive 144. And then 4 times 2 times 8 is 64. So let's see. 12 plus or minus. That's an 80. Squared of 80 over 4. So um, that 80, I'm going to break it down a little bit. I'm going to do as much of the square rooting of that 80 as I can. So I know that 80 is 16 times 5. So those are still square rooted. So I have 12 plus or minus. The square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 5 is just square root of 5 divided by 4. So now uh, both these things are divided by that 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 divided by 4 is 1, leaving me root 5. So there's my other two zeros, 3 plus or minus root 5. So 3 plus root 5 and 3 minus root 5 and 7. So my zeros are 7, 3 plus root 5, and 3 minus root 5. 